our main feature today on EA TV. Two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Hi there, everyone. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith for Arsenal against Manchester City. Two sides with great ambition to push back the frontiers, to get back on the trophy trail, if you like. I think we'll get some idea, Alan, today what the potential is for both sides. Yeah, it gives us uh, a little marker, doesn't it, for the uh, the rest of the season, this one, when two of the big clubs come up against each other. If one can come out on top, that can really kick their season on. Well, confirmation, as if it's needed, really. Everyone knows now, don't they, that the league title has been decided. The match will be played, but the big event of the day, Alan's going to be the presentation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen so many performances that got them to the top of the table. We might not quite see the intensity of those previous displays, but I think you can forgive them for that. Arsenal more than useful at the moment and they're hoping to get another victory here they played very well last time out in that away victory against Everton they finished 1-0 it's quite a close run affair but I think they're capable of following up with another win today this is the Arsenal lineup. but Leno starts in goal Hector Bellerin plays with Danny Rose as the fullbacks. Nabil Bentaleb starts with Mohamed El Neni in the centre of the pitch. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Several changes for Manchester City. Vincent Company starts with Amerik Laporte as the centre-backs. Kevin De Bruyne starts looking to recover his form. And they just go with the one striker up front. It's Arsenal to kick off. Here's Bentaleb. Patrick. Arsenal's turn now to get at the opposition. Great ball. Threw everything behind that shot. And frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Here's Sterling. Gabriel Jesus. Now Fernandinho. Attacking now. Fernandinho. Gabriel Jesus. And shoots! And that is quite a wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball. Frustration from the manager, but on the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. Well, he's loving this competition, really is scoring for fun so far. Here's Sterling. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. That move nipped in the bud by the raising of the flag from the assistant. Looked to me like the timing of the pass and the run was spot on, but a closer inspection, no, he was off. Rose. Morgan Sanson. Nice interplay between the two of them. Keeper in the eye, sliding in superbly. Well played, and they're on the move again thanks to that slide tackle. That's a wonderful tackle. Patrick. Now Mickey Tarrier. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Gabriel Jesus. Plenty of action at White Hart Lane today in front of our man Alan McInally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by. 
by Harry Kane. A great bit of close control to take the pass on the edge of the area, beat the covering defender and slot the ball home. He can put them in front. A return ball. Shot Grand Mustafi. That's a good report from Alan McInerney, but it had to be a brief one. Uh, he has told us that Spurs did score in that game, if you missed it. The score is now 1-0. Let's go over to Stamford Bridge and Alan McInerney. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Giroud. He was in on the keeper, rounded him magnificently and left himself an easy finish. 19 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. They've got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous. Goal. They're in front now. He followed his instincts, he followed the play in, and then he followed watching the ball into the net. Yeah, a lesson for any schoolboy just to make sure you follow shots in, that you're in that danger area. goal from Huddersfield it's a goal for Manchester United 23 minutes played 1-1 one, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally thanks Alan Mohamed Elneny now this looks promising now this is an interesting attack in with a chance not far away at all well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. He knows it, the manager. A golden opportunity to get back on level terms. That was really snapped by the striker. Now company. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Let's get across to Goodison Park and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Stoke City. 32 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. And that's good support as they build this attack. It's De Bruyne. Leroy Sane gets his foot in there. El Neni trying to slipping it through. In with a chance. Surely. Oh, they lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal and it came at a crucial time, I think, for his side. A little captain's input there. It's great when the plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. 
quick into the tackle and the result is going to be a throw Sane it's a good place to win the ball here could be dangerous giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing Gula Gabriel Jesus Fernandinho guiding it Sterling what a brilliant goal I think a manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort the way they moved the ball about and once it came to the finish it was an unerring effort a goal from Sterling and what a cool finish it was too the way he's placed it to the keeper's right he saw the gap and Dispatched it first time. <laughs> Off we go again, two one. <laughs> Mohamed El Neni. He's spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Can they find Aubameyang? That's what they're trying to do. Well, he scored! And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point, but sometimes a two goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Special goal. Oh, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. It's still a great sight in the game, isn't it? The headed goal, and this was a fine example of it. Well, he's one of the best at anticipated balls into the box, and he was first to react, wasn't he? Intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Promising build up until that challenge. Gabriel Jesus. Chambers. Now Mikitarian. Half time whistle has gone and it's 3 1 here. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. It could be a chance, and that's an excellent goal. They're in front now. Just slipping it through. In with a chance, surely. Gabriel Jesus. Fernandinho guiding it through. Sterling. What a brilliant goal. Can they find Aubameyang? That's what they're trying to do.
Manchester City wait for the referee's whistle and away we go for the second half. Well, they're in a good position here. Well, then it goes. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. It's another chance, really. And any sort of contact there, and you think it must go in, but it didn't go in. Well, I think he will. The manager will be at him for that because it was, a, it was an easy header. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Mkhitaryan, the shot's on, he's in here. Come away with the ball cleanly, great tackle. Chambers. This might be it. Mkhitaryan, and he's in. An Arsenal goal. almost on easy street with that uh, latest goal and very comfortable in the situation in the match well, it's just a question of being a professional now not making any mistakes oh he's loving it the manager he's seeing his team playing really well just what he was asking for One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Vincent Company. we're hearing there's a penalty being given at Newcastle. Alan McAnally is up at St James's Park. It's a penalty for Swansea City. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Little check of the run, good strike. Goalkeeper, no idea where the ball was going. 54 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Danny Rose. Shokran Mustafi. Hector Berry. Coming up on EA Sports, it's an FA Cup fixture. Arsenal, they'll be hosting Liverpool. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. In with a chance. Now that's a throw. Substitution for Manchester City. Well, off is the goal scoring midfielder. Well, he's getting a good clap, and. Uh, the fans here love him because he always puts in 100% effort. Vincent Company. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Defence not really stretched by that cross. And Ozil. Difficult skill, good effort. Yeah, timed it perfectly, as you have to do with those volleys. it down to a teammate Hector Berry they could pose some danger now
That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Now company. Sane. Kevin De Bruyne. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Let's go down to St Mary's, Alamakinali. It's a second goal for Leicester City. 68 minutes played, 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Threads it through. In on the goalkeeper. No time for an extra touch after the tackle. It's out of harm's way. And that's gone out for a throw-in. It's been a good day for this central defender, hasn't it? and uh, he's getting a proper acclaim for his performance. Well, he's one of the key players in this side, and uh, I think the manager just giving him a little rest as well. Some big games coming up. Kevin De Bruyne moving forward with some real chance. You can see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide, sadly, for him. It is going to be a North London success for Arsenal, and the supporters recognise that. Yeah, quite rightly, they're in full voice now because they can see the finishing line. It's Mesut Ozil now in a dangerous area. There's going to be a throw-in after that tackle. Shock Dran Mustafi. Patrick. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Fernandinho. Gabriel Jesus. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but we can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Promising build-up until that challenge. Here's Berin. There's some potential in this move. Gula. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Now you can cross it. Leroy Sane. Now the shot. Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper. And what about that? Just stroked it home, bottom left. Different angle on it here. of goals for the fans here, 4-2, off we go again. The scorer will be very proud of this, but it won't mean too much in terms of the result, just a, a personal triumph for him. Yeah, I think so, the opposition really had stopped playing because they know that they've won the game. Here come Arsenal, in exciting style. In towards Ozil, only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Looks like they've got the win, Alan, doesn't it? 4-2, not much time to go. Can you assess what it might mean for the next game? Well, Arsenal go up against Liverpool and uh, played with a lot of freedom out here. I'd be really pleased. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Kevin De Bruyne. Patrick. Well, he could be in. Kevin De Bruyne. Sane. 
into the attacking third. Challenges for the ball. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Trying to get the ball in behind. And there was danger, but he's cleared it. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. That is the final whistle. Well, that's it for this game. That's it for this season, and that's pretty much for you and me. Enjoyed it, mate. As always, Martin, they seem to go quicker and quicker. I can't believe it's been about nine months since that first ball was kicked. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. It's one thing picking this lad out to try and stop him. It's another thing actually accomplishing that feat. He's in really good form. Another goal and another win for his team. Good day all round. Slipping it through. In with a chance. Surely. Gabriel Jesus. Fernandinho guiding it through. Sterling. What a brilliant goal. Can they find Aubameyang? That's what they're trying to do. Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper.